What's up, feeder country? We're out here today for episode four. It's a surprise episode. Our flight got canceled today, and we're headed out into these mountains back there. It's a beautiful bluebird day, the best weather of the whole trip. We got some of the guys out here again today. Small crew. We're gonna go far. We just got up here up close. We're gonna head in a little deeper. Man, it's been a while since I've got to see some big Alaska mountains. It feels so good to be back. Oh, even if it is short-lived for an afternoon. Absolutely gorgeous this way. And you turn around. It's just as pretty out the back. debris right here from uh, up there it looks like some cornice fall what do you guys think when Chris says that, that he knows, we all think he's crazy <laughs> Today we're out here riding on this Switchback Assault 144. It's got a nice wide front end, good for this high speed riding we do out here. And this one's got a clutch kit, which so engages at 4500 RPM. It's also got studs. Yeah. On the track. <laughs> Start bragging. <laughs> Chris has still got the highest high mark of the day, though. That one goes. I wish I knew what the tops were like. Yeah. I'm not doing it on anyone else's machine either, but hey, nice work. Setting the high mark. What's that? Setting the high mark. Got it on a video! Your name, what machine you're riding, and uh, well, they all just saw your high mark you scored, so go ahead. My name is uh, Jacinto Larson. I'm on my uh, cross country race and uh, just having a good time with you guys. <laughs> <Good time. laughs> yeah, man. South of Anya. Bye bye, beautiful face. Probably never see you again. Too many other ones to see, but thank you for letting me stay. Until next time, my friend. I don't know if you call this place the tundra or what, but I'd be pretty happy putting a little cabin out here and spending my days slowly drifting away. This is part of what I do, you guys don't see. 
as I film and photograph these athletes that are way, way better than me. Way better than I'll ever be. But I get the pleasure to shoot these guys and watch them do all the crazy stuff that they do, which is always a blast. I just shot some video, but Chris, he just went ahead and he just climbed up that chute and then did a little high mark in the wall up there. Oh, and real quick for the record right here on that climb, Chris was on a 129 XCR. <laughs> We're maniacs. Riding trail sleds in the mountain. <laughs> Peter country, baby, this is what we do. Look at those peaks out there, man. Oh. The peaks are looking good. They're looking a lot like Valdez. I love it. Huh? Yeah, buddy, back in the motherland. Yeah, that's that uh, one we used to always go up into and have fun. <laughs> he stopped? Yeah. Oh, let me see it. That's what I have. Uh, Smells good. The Arctic Cat has to have a fire cat out here. Almost 5,000 on the clock. So we're coming down out of the mountains now. I mean, this is what it looks like. Come out to these big lakes. And then there's more mountains on the other side. But yeah, we were just up in there. Now we came back down. Man, it is hard. <laughs> that was like a straight wall of ice. Here we are, back on the lake. Time to head home. GoPro dive, but we're gonna turn off the video right there. We just did 83 miles into the backcountry, and now we are back at the homestead, safe and sound. End of day four. We'll see if our flight's canceled tomorrow and if there's a day five video or not. Only time will tell. Till then, my friends, keep feeding. That looked better than your oh. picture, didn't it? Oh, that's a pretty good picture. But I see what you're saying about like, that's like pink and this is like an orange. You said that I looked like a sophomore, but I'll probably go as a junior. <laughs> I had better years junior. Got a white one for like, cause I'm a snowmobiler and the snow is white. And then I might even go back to Dillingham Elementary School. What do you think? Pretty sweet. I'm alumni. <laughs>